Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Accounting System tutorial video, we'll talk about Supplier Debit Node. Let's go to Supplier, Supplier Debit Node. Now, Supplier Debit Node is a document that's sent by supplier to you. Normally, it's because they have undercharged you from the previous purchase invoice. So, they will add back certain charges for the previous invoice and become a debit node. Once you go into supplier debit node, you'll see that this is all the debit node you have created before. Some of them may be post from purchase debit node, which involve quantity of stock or service. Now, once you come in over here, you can see that it's a listing of supplier debit node and at the bottom part is actually the payment history for the debit node. Example, over here, you can see that the debit note is 4 ringgit and there is an outstanding 4 ringgit. That means there is no payment made before for this debit note. And when you select this debit note, original amount is 340, but the outstanding only 260, meaning there is a pay previous payment for it at amount $80. So, let's say you want to search for one debit note that you have created before. You just need to make use of any available field over here. Go to that particular column, example debit note number. Type the number you want to search and it will come up accordingly. You can make use of others also. Let's say you want to use a field to do searching, but the field is not available over here. What you can do is right click any column title, field chooser, then drag, maybe area, drag, drop. If you don't want, Back, drop back or right click at the column title, remove this column. Another way is at the most left hand side, there is a small button with multiple lines. Click on it, then you just tick on the field that you want, maybe agent, tick on it, agent will appear, untick, then disappear. Now let's create a new debit node, new SD. So over debit node, we select. A supplier just type the name of the supplier will do just in case if you type the name nothing come up is because of your focus of searching now is at company name too so what you need to do is click on your tab key on your keyboard tap so tap tap again it will jump back to the company name so just type the name the same theory apply to when you select an account you do not need to memorize the account code just type the name will do. Let's say I want to select purchase. And it will come up accordingly. Then you, what you need to do is just put in the amount. If let's say any column that not required by you, you just right click on it, then remove this column. Document number, date, agent terms will come up accordingly. Of course, you can amend on that. And normally, just like supplier invoice, I will advise customer to key in the supplier debit note number according to the actual document and not let the system auto run because this it will make your life easier when you want to compare or talk to your supplier because both party is looking at the same number on the left hand side you can see there's additional information that you can key in more note or you can do attachment for a particular debit note if you want to do attachment just click on the plus sign then you can attach any document or picture please remember the picture or document will not put into SQL accounting system it just will create a link to that document okay so for supplier debit note you do not require to print out because the debit note is given by supplier to you so the hard copy you already have on hand so no need to print out but just in case you want to print this is the print button this is the preview button then you can select the template then you can print or convert to other format so basically this is how you create a supplier debit node in SQL accounting system once again thank you for watching i'm brian from syntax technologies mm -hmm.